Well, good morning. I just want to show the rainwater encatchment thing. Super nice that this is here. It makes the water carry through this area much, much better. Pitched right there last night, and it's probably around 7. Didn't really sleep in as much as I wanted to, but that's okay. It feels great out. The wind's wonderful, and it's like probably mid-50s, I would say. So, gonna get going. Ah, what a fabulous morning. It is now, it is now exactly 7 o'clock. And I just got off the uh, quarter mile side two track road from the rainwater encatchment and back on trail. So seven o'clock start. Last night's uh, night hiking was pretty fun. Um, started it by myself and then caught up to Baptist who found out got his trail name on the PCT just before the town of Wrightwood when he uh, was taking a leak and then realized he was peeing on a rattlesnake. So... That one's funny. I like that. That's a good name. It's a beautiful day. Really cool to be able to see this canyon area with some light. But yeah, the night hiking was fun. It was cool to see the nocturnal birds kind of just chilling out on the trail. I had my headlamp on the red light and it would catch their eye and it would like glow all red. This is fun. Fun experience. Not too hard to navigate. The trail is very open and easy to see even at night still. So, but I slept all right. Probably got to sleep just before midnight and then woke up at 5.30. So for those five and a half hours, I slept great. Like didn't wake up whatsoever and then started getting light out and my internal clock was like, hey, time to wake up. So, yep, but today should be good. I think it's like 12 miles until I get to the town of Superior. And I'll be staying with the trail angel. So should be a good day. So I think I found a kind of primrose. Let's see how this one smells. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah, that smells really good. It's a bit of a stronger, stronger uh, aroma to it. I like that. Well, I just looked at my elevation profile and it's, uh, oh, it's a pretty cruisy and downhill for the next 11 miles, so. And then I'll be at the place where I can hitch or get picked up by the trail angel. We shall see. Oh, plants. So many things coming in to say hi this morning. Oh, always fun passing the horses. It's cool people out here horseback riding. It'd be kind of fun. Well, I've never really done it much. I don't know if I'd like it. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'd rather ride a donkey, personally. Yeah. Made it into town to MJ, the Trail Angel's place. Walk into an Italian restaurant right now. Got showered, laundry's going. Super nice, she's a really nice lady. Um, not used to dogs. I'm not on the Florida Trail anymore. But. Oh man, nice little town. This is a uh, superior, town of superior. And yeah. Hot, it's like 90 degrees. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cat's eye in my food. No. I thought there was only one cat living here. Where'd 
these two come from. Huh. Um, but people just do it. So, it's kind of hard to give that up when we keep it rolling. So. Yeah. Well, had a very successful zero at MJ's place in Superior. That was really nice. A lot of other hikers there. Fun to just chill out. MJ was awesome. They cooked us breakfast both mornings and yeah, really cool place. Uh, four of us, including me, got a ride back today in the morning. Or three, four? Yeah. Me, Abraham, Beaches, and Little Stick? Short Stick? Something like that. And some of us hiked together for a few miles and now we're kind of spreading now, but yeah, glad to be back on trail. It's gonna be a bit of a hot one today. Not as hot as yesterday. Yesterday was like a high of 90 something. Today is just like mid to high 80s. And I think tomorrow's a high of 75. So that'll be really, really nice. But still kind of playing it by ear with the snow that is north of Pine, the town of Pine. I know there's still some snowpack, but it's melting fast, I think. So we'll see. I'll get there when I get there, but just gonna keep walking. Oh, and there goes horse. The current fastest known timer, FKT holder for the Buckeye Trail. You know, just walking around and it still blows me away how magnificent it is out here. It's just so cool. Like the mountains, the flowers, the cacti, everything. Like, it's incredible. I love it. It was interesting, like, hiking a few miles, just like kind of the four of us together-ish. This is the really first time I've like hiked with someone. I guess I night hiked with Baptist, but yeah. It was a bit odd. I was like, oh, he's not used to this anymore. <laughs> oh, it was fun. Yep, yep. I'm not sure how far I'll go today. Probably gone like eight or so miles so far. And I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. But just gonna keep on going. I'm about to start a two and a half mile, pretty steep incline. I think I'm going up a thousand feet. So, I mean, steep, I've had steeper, but this one should be fun. Some clouds out, so that's really nice. And water carries have been really good. Like there's been plentiful water in this area. I mean, this entire trail, but yeah. See you at the top. Get in there. Sure is beautiful though. Woo! Oh, look how beautiful this is. Oh man. Well, I'm now in front of Peach's short stick and horse. It's been a fun day. It's been really cool to like kind of be on pace with some other hikers and to take breaks together, chat. <sighs> ah, it's flying my thumb. Just goof off, have fun. <clears throat> so, yeah, a little after four o'clock, and I don't know, maybe get like nine more miles in. We'll see, but having a really great day. It's been fun. You know, I'm actually getting a little torn up on this stretch of trail. It's kind of following a creek. And so just more densely foliated, I guess. But yeah, I also slipped on one of the uh, dusty gravel roads and scraped up my hand and as well as my leg. So that wasn't fun, but I've had worse. And then like the branches and plants are kind of poking me and scraping me on the stretch. So getting torn up. Oh. 
Oh, there's a lot of little blowdowns in this area. It's also a burn area, so makes sense. What's that? Yeah, the Florida Trail is 1100. All right, so I'm gonna do my little closing thing here before getting to camp in like half a mile. Night hiked with peaches and horse and short stick. It was just fun. Um, gonna By the end of today, I'll done a 29 mile day, so it's my biggest day. <laughs> we'll see if I roll with them much longer. I know peaches and short stick are kind of rocking them between 25 and 30 a day, so maybe a little much for me, but we'll see. Fun day. Yeah, like later start. Like, because we didn't leave MJ's until, I don't know, 8 30 ish. So, it's still got 29 miles in. It's just after 8 o'clock. So, it's dark out, but it's not super late. Uh, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Good night.